Okay, folks, right on the heels of the Yaira number one campaign, we have Ripaverse's next book, Gooding the Polymath. And just in time for Gooding the Polymath's drop on the Ripaverse website, which I believe is active right now, we have the premiere of Gooding the Bollocks trailer. And if anybody is racing for a dictionary to find out what, what bollocks means, let me just tell you, it does not mean testicles in this sense. It means contempt and annoyance. Uh, I'm expressing contempt and annoyance over this two-minute trailer because it makes some of the simplest mistakes ever. Like, for example, what the hell is this billboard selling? You've got the name Gooding Services on there and nothing else that would indicate what this business does or how to contact it. This is crazy. This is just somebody did not think this through. I mean, seriously, you go out and you look at any billboard out there and you will see a picture of what is being sold or a description somehow of what is being sold and how to contact that business, where that business is located, perhaps. And there's nothing here. It, this is devoid of any useful information. So if Gooding is indeed a polymath, marketing is not one of the many skills that he picked up. Let's go to the narration. I've done work all around the city of Florispark, but there's a reason why we're based out of Shadow Valley. And that reason is his wedding and his honeymoon. I mean, seriously, did Florispark screw up his marriage or something? <laughs> and now he's living as a drunk on the outskirts of Shadow Valley? <laughs> Why are you showing us these images with those words? That makes no sense whatsoever. Oh, look, it's reused footage from the Alpha Core number one trailer and from the ISOM number two trailer. Oh, gosh, don't y'all wish you had the money that you spent on that freaky crap <laughs> Yaira number one live action trailer? Don't you wish you had that money back so you could have spent it on some original footage for Gooding? <laughs> they must be kicking themselves right now. So let's see if the narration lines up with the pictures this time. The city has its police force and Alpha Corps. Okay, there's, there's Alpha Corps, all right. It even has superheroes that patrol the streets. Yeah, those aren't them. These are not street-level superheroes. You know how I know that? Because you remember when Chuck Dixon described why he and Joe Bennett created Horsemen? It was because Ripaverse lacked street-level characters, and I'm pretty damn sure that at the time, Norfrica and Bloodruth existed, so they are not street-level characters. If you wanted to show us street-level characters, you should be showing us Horsemen or even Salvage. But, oh, wait, I forgot then you would have to have the money to provide original animated footage of these guys. Why? Why did we do this to ourselves? Oh, let's move on. It even has superheroes that patrol the streets, and they're more than capable of dealing with various threats. So, obviously, these next things I'm going to show you, <laughs> those things I am not going to fuck with. <laughs> I'm leaving all that to the other superheroes. Seriously, why else would I be telling you, well, they're, they're more than capable of handling various threats like these various threats. Me? I'm just going to do basic bitch heroing like rescuing people from a fire. And I'll do it all for the low, low price of one-time payment of $49.99? My ass, I am not taking a piss for $50 one time. <laughs> That's got to be $49.99 per month, at least. Oh my god. This trailer is only two minutes long, and it is filled with fuck-up after fuck-up. I just... <sighs> Listen, I want to be, be clear here. I am not trying to crap all over the book. I'm not crapping over Gooding the Polymath, not the character, not the book, not writer Mike Barron, not, not artist Will Conrad. I'm not even crapping on the merch here. I'm crapping over the fact that every time Ripperverse tries to tell the sto tell a story of any kind, no matter how simple, they fuck it up. Okay? <laughs> I don't know how, how to express any better my complete lack of confidence in this, in this company. I am really hoping that Gooding the Polymath turns out to be a good book, but I have no confidence that it will be because I have no confidence in Ripperverse. I... I 
just don't. But I will be picking this book up, and I will be reviewing it, so I will let you know. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully this has turned out to be the a solid book from Ripiverse, but if the trailer is any indication of what's coming, I don't have any confidence in that. Thank you for watching. I'm Mike Bartika, and uh, I will be back soon with uh, more Yaira number one material. I think I've dredged up enough for at least one, maybe two more videos. So uh, please do subscribe if you haven't already, and I will talk to you later.